I don't yeah. know. I, this could just be the unraveling of society. We got the climate crisis, you know, making certain situations worse. I think you mentioned in one of your videos the uh, the Germany's like river is like super dry, and like that's like so uncommon, and just like like it's just well, incredible. The, yeah, the, the Rhine. Yeah, that was so low you can walk across it. The Rhine River, a major river in Europe, a river where commercial traffic goes up and down the damn thing was so low you can walk across it. I'm just like so amazed because I mean, we're so used to having like these water systems that are flowing and flowing and they give us like our life and like our crops, everything, right? Like this is water is life, I guess, you know, that's the scientific yeah, fact. And they're drying up and we're actively aware that they're drying up and we're like, and there's so many different factors that we can discuss because you've said like in your videos, like they really were just like, oh shit moments because it just is like, (laughs) it's true. It is. And it's like, what are we going to do without water? Literally there's millions of us. I don't know how else to say it. Like this is like severe resource limited issue. All right, I'll let you take it away. Your videos. Go ahead, Jim. Well, I don't know if you saw my Colorado River video. I did, yeah. <laughs> I'm all caught up. <laughs> I am. I'm that, good. That was, um, I, I thought those, uh, you know, photos and, and that little gif there, very dramatic, showing how much it's dropped, how much the water levels have dropped. <laughs> exactly. It's just incredible. You know, Lake uh, Powell and Mead, the levels are so low that they may not even be able to generate electricity. How many people depend on electricity in that region from from, without, from those two places? I mean, so many. holy crapola. There's an <laughs> yeah. entire desert city in like the Colorado issue is like that. those river levels are so low. The dam's low. We talked about that like last summer. I mean, it's pretty incredible what's going on. And then you got Salt Lake drying up, and let's blow the arsenic dust all around. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) Please. That's, if that's not like dystopian, like, this is crazy because that's, it's like a poison. It's just, it seems kind of science fiction. But like, yeah. It is like a poison depository. And the thing is that, you know, the Great Salt Lake, whatever, that's actually the remnants of the uh, inland sea that bisected the North American continent during the Cretaceous. Incredible. That's the last of that inland sea. And this you know, is the, it. Like, it's going away. It's been documented. You've yeah. You've spoken about it. This is a this is an earth that has lived for billions of years. And we've come in and just, like, put a stamp on the dirt. And, like, we've modified it. But now, like, I feel like earth is fighting back. <laughs> oh yeah, it's pretty. Said, enough, with, enough with this stupid species. <laughs> oh my god, it has been like our desire to like, you know, you can look back at history, right? Like you talk about that seventeen hundreds, like capitalism period, where like there's such expansion. It's that period of like the pirates and stuff. Like there's so much like reap and like reward type of like motivation. Like it's pretty incredible. Oh. Endless bounty. Yeehaw. Well, you know, we know that's not the case. <laughs> what is it about the human species? Like, how have we evolved into like this really like urban? I don't even know what we are anymore. I'm honestly like, what is the 21st century of like humanity? I don't know. It's pretty incredible. Hu- human species are the hum- the human species is a violent, aggressive, xenophobic species. We've got a little tribe. We, we constantly do an aggression war. When you really think about it, capitalism isn't an aggressive system. It rewards aggressive behavior. It rewards you being a nasty son of a bitch to subdue your competitors. And, you know, when you look at those who become CEOs, whatever, they're all freaking sociopaths. Because they don't give a shit who they hurt on their way up to on climbing the corporate ladder. They get to the top where those who have a conscience, they say, well, I can't do that to someone else. I can't behave that way. 
those with a conscience gets left behind. So capitalism in of itself is an aggressive uh, system and rewards aggressive behavior, sometimes violent behavior. Yeah, look what we're doing to our resources. We're just like destroying and like polluting. Oh my God, the pollution issue I wanted to bring up today because I've been thinking about it and it's just like there was another report uh, the Mediterranean, I guess, is now another hotbed, like, plastic pollution, like, it's starting to, like, congregate, like, to where it's becoming, like, kind of a major issue now, where it's not just out there, it's coming, like, to the shores, like, it's getting nasty. You can go, you can go and scoop it up now. Well, you know, plastics is found in every part of the ocean, from the Arctic uh, to Mariana's Trench. It's uh, plastics everywhere in the ocean, you know, whether it's the huge, you know, plastic water jugs or, you know, the uh, micro and the nanoplastics where the where little larval fish can ingest uh, plastic particles. Mm -hmm. It's it's everywhere. It's everywhere. There's, there's plastic in your body right now. There's plastic in my body right now. 